Doink shows up and calls Bam Bam Match Head and Flame Brain. This died a terrible death. The All Americans, Lex Luger, the Steiners, and the Undertaker against Crush, Jacques, Ludwig Borga, and Yoko Zuna. You know what I learned watching this match? Is it about Ludwig Borga? It was about Lex Luger. No. Vince was right. God. <laughs> Dude, God bless the guy. But uh, you know how many matches I've seen where, you know, the crowd maybe isn't into it or whatever, and the guy dives and ba bam, he makes a hot tag, and the other guy starts running wild, and the crowd's like, hmm, I don't give a shit. And we mentioned it was a cold tag. How many times have I talked about that? Sure. Well, that's usually because the guy gets a hot tag, and while he's running wild, as noted, nobody cares. Luger got the fucking lamest hot tag I ever saw in my life in this match. He's fucking standing. I don't even know who tagged him. I think, oh, yeah. He's standing on the apron, and he's he's just like putting his hand out. And some guy who's gotten his ass kicked for God only knows how long in this 30-minute match, he makes a tag, and this was the lamest hot tag. Luger, he, like, steps into the ring and just stops. Well, okay. In Lex's defense... <laughs> Please. He steps into the ring and stops because the Quebecer, as Vince called him, is already down on the mat. It Pick was, him up! It was like Samito. He's a house of fire Cover with no one to him. hit. <laughs> Fuck! He just stepped into the ring and stopped. I was like, bro, no you got to be fucking the kidding me. On the ground. And, you know, by the end, he got a little bit of life back into him. And, uh, you know, he won. Pin Borga with his illegal forearm. Again, this fucking cheater. But, man, there was nothing, nothing in this match. Where when it was over, I thought, man, let's put the belt on this guy. Let's have this guy win the Rumble and go on to WrestleMania. None of that. They fucked up. It's it, it, like I knew they fucked up at SummerSlam '93, and we watched SummerSlam '93, and it was clear they fucked up. They fucked up way bigger because this guy was done after that. Like I don't know if they told him he was gonna win at Mania, and if he just was like he had it in his mind he was gonna. So who gives a fuck? Or maybe they didn't tell him, and he was just like over it. I don't know, but he has been useless since SummerSlam '93. Useless. All right, we've gone for a long time. Uh, let's see. The first pin is Rick Steiner goes for a cross body on Ludwig Borga. And uh, I think Sean had, was talking about this in the way over. But uh, essentially, the cross body went horribly awry. And so even though I, th I think Ludwig was supposed to counter it and slam him or roll through it. I think it was a power slam him out of midair. Yeah, but what happened was Rick, fell down. Rick hit a cross body and then just rolled over and Ludwig pinned him. And Rick said, I got to start selling my knee, man. <laughs> <laughs> to cover up for this somehow, because he knew that that sucked. So uh, it's four on three for a while. Uh, buh, buh, buh. I, my favorite thing about this match is actually the Undertaker before he tags in, because he's a dead guy, and so he doesn't even tag in until like the last fall. He's just on the apron the entire time, but he's not cheerleading. He's not resting in the ropes. He's standing there with his fists at his side, just being a dead man, a great big dead man. And he did that the whole time. The stuff with Scott Steiner and Crush was actually really great. Two big bosses toss each other around. Eventually, Savage appears. Crush goes to fight him, gets countered out. Uh, this makes it three and three. This is the fall where Lex gets the hot tag against the Quebecer who's already down. Eventually, pins him with an elbow. Now it's three on two. That's also when the comment was made about Ludwig Borga that he was the wrestler of the nineties. <laughs> yeah, in nineteen ninety three. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, somewhere in here, Bobby Heenan, they're talking about how Randy Savage keeps fighting his way back in the building. He says, maybe maybe Randy Savage is Batman. And now I can't, I've got to rewatch The Dark Knight and imagine Randy Savage's voice and all of Christian Bale's dialogue. I got something better for you. All right. When you get done with the show, I want you to go on YouTube and Google Antonio Noki versus Spider Man. Will do. You'll die. <laughs> maybe you want to put Randy Savage in the Batcave. Hey, yeah, it could be a, a, a round trip there. So uh, Scott has a superplex on Borga. He actually whips Yokozuna into the ropes, which I don't think anyone else ever did. But Yoko threw in the brakes and dodged the Frankensteiner, hit the leg drop, and pinned him. Now, God, I was so hoping he'd hit a Frankensteiner on Yokozuna. Would have been awesome. Because Yoko probably could have taken that role. So it's two on two now. 
And Alexa's double teamed for a while. And finally, for the first time in the match, the Undertaker tags in. People go crazy. He does a zombie bit, gets knocked down, gets back up again. Uh, he, he takes one bonsai drop from Yokozuna, but when Yoko tries a second one, Taker sits up, and they are fighting outside. They are both countered out. So, it's... Yeah, you know, I got to say before that that point, there was another point where Luger got in with Yokozuna, and th- these fans did not give two fucks about these two guys squaring off. This is essentially the pay-per-view rematch yep. from SummerSlam. Yep. And they get in the ring together, and the crowd's like, hmm. No. Oh, fuck. Window closed. Yeah. What are these guys going to do? Get counted out? Yeah. And then they were. <laughs> so it's down to one-on-one, Ludwig Borger versus Lex Luger. Why didn't they, You know how Ludwig, Ludwig Borger's from Finland? They should have called his uh, his, his final maneuver the finisher. Or the, the finish. He's a fin. <sighs> Horrible, Vinny. Yeah. Horrible. But what I did like, <laughs> this actually was not too bad when these two were in together. The fans did care about this. It was raw meat event but level. But man, you know, you know. You know Luger's making this comeback. And it's, you know the comeback where I'll just keep whipping you to the ropes and hitting a move? Yep. And uh, one of them, I think he like, I don't know what he did, but he hit Ludwig Borg in the belly. And Borg took a running back yes. after he being hit in the belly. <laughs> yes. So fucking hilarious. W- watching Ludwig Borg run the ropes will never not be funny. Yeah. It's the funny a- thing is like, he's not really that good. But he's way better than I remember. And and some of his stuff doesn't look good, like that that back bump off a, a shot to the stomach. Yeah. But in general, like, he's competent. And the fans, like, they buy him. I guess sure. that's the most important He thing. has a presence in an aura. And yes. He, he, I said they the, buy his shit. He, he, he's never Tony Holm. It's always Ludwig Borga in there. Yes. He, he maintains his character well. And he's a big, scary guy. And for the most part, they don't have him do anything he can't do. So it's not like these are... Zero star matches or duds or negative stars or anything. They're merely bad and boring. But uh, they need to do a referee distraction spot for the finish here. And Cornet is not taking any chances. He brings Johnny Polo with him. They both jump up at the apron. They're shouting the top of their lungs. They hog tie this referee. They are going to distract him. And this lets Mr. Fuji give the salt bucket to uh, Ludwig. And we get a near fall off of that. Then Lex Yankees up. We get Ludwig running the ropes. Always funny. And eventually Lex hits a leapfrog in the metal elbow and he wins. I thought, okay. He was... what? He le- leapfrog. He yankeed up? Yeah, he's a Yankee. Mm. Yankee doodle dandy. <laughs> he American dupped. I have never heard anyone call Lex Luger a Yankee. Is that the stars and stripes on there? <laughs> he's an American. He's a patriot. An all American. He patrioted up. That's he... the name of the damn team. He all American up. Yes. Call it what you will. But he did do a leapfrog. That was weird. <laughs> and he hits the middle elbow wins. And by the end, I was like, he gets the win. And the face was crazy. I'm like, all right, this was a bad show. But the baby face won in the end. That match was okay. This is not the worst show I ever saw. And then it starts to snow. And maybe think, Vinny, what do you mean snow? I, I mean, it started to fucking snow. Snow began to fall. And Santa Claus came out. To, and the, crowd's, the crowd had been into Lex. They were into Lex with this finish. And as soon as he's in there with fucking Santa playing in the snow, like, what the fuck are we watching? You're watching Americana, Vinny. You are watching the 1993 WWF cartoon fucking Thanksgiving wrestling. Thanksgiving is over. It's time for Christmas season. Here, here comes this jolly old elf. Shows like this are what led to ECW starting. Well. Yes. You were also watching Heenan's last pay-per-view. Oh. I, wouldn't, I don't blame him. I'd have quit, too. <laughs> well, that was Survivor Series. I'm not happy we watched it. No. <laughs> I don't know whose idea it was, but I'm mad. I totally forgot this story until just now. And it happened when I was a kid. And so I think there's a decent chance that I, it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so, like, I was chopping the tree. And uh, I just remember looking up. And all of a sudden, like, this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down. And all of a sudden, I was like, I woke up later. This is the weird thing he says. Yeah, it is. Well, it is weird. weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah. That's weird. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.